Hi. I'm Debbie Thurlow and I've been baking since I was 18, uh, so it's over 30 years. And it, it, it's a, just a matter of two cups of flour, one and a, one and a half teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt. You mix those together and then you got shortening and you're going to take the shortening um, about, about one cup, I think, yeah, one cup. And then you're going to use your little pastry blender and you're going to mix it in together to the size of a pea, blend it all together. Then in a separate bowl, you'll just take one egg, uh, one and a half teaspoons of vinegar, just white vinegar would do the trick, and cold water. And you're going to mix that together in cold water. So like a quarter of a cup, maybe a touch more. <clears throat> then once you get that mixture, you add it to your flour mixture, you mix it all in together, and um, to a nice little consistency like this is the ball. And you, when you get the pie crust on, you're going to make two balls. This is one, and you got another one. And then you'll roll it out, and it should be like this. You're going to have a little extra going over the sides, but then we're going to trim it off when we actually do the filling. And then on uh, the filling, we're taking um, two cups of strawberries and we got fresh strawberries and we are taking off the hull and then you can cut it into the strawberry if they're really big if you want to that's all in preference it really doesn't matter that it's all gonna cook down and then um, the rhubarb I'm gonna cut to about oh I don't know what is that half a half inch to, a, um, to an inch thick and just throw it in and that's gonna be a couple of cups we're going to mix that together and then we're going to add um, sugar and tapioca. And sugar is going to be to your taste preference and tapioca should be about a quarter of a cup. And the sugar, some people like to put in a whole cup, I don't. And I do put in more than a half a cup. And um, then we'll just put it into the bowl and top it off with a crust, seal it up. Have to have slits on top so that the steam can get out. You do have to have something. And then bake, bake it at, uh, at a home kitchen, probably uh, 425 for 15 minutes so it gets a little brown. And then uh, turn it down to, uh, I think it's 375 for about 45 minutes. And you know, a good thing, to do is put it on a uh, bacon sheet so that w it will spill over and that way it will save you a headache of cleaning up your oven and uh, things won't burn down onto your oven.